the great message that Pope Francis shared. Before the recitation of the Regina Sealy on this third Sunday of Easter, Pope Francis encouraged the faithful to reread their own history with the eyes of Jesus and proposed a concrete way to do so every day. The four thousands of faithful present in St. Peter's Square at the Vatican, the Holy Father offered a reflection on the Gospel that today narrates the encounter of the risen Jesus with the disciples of Emmaus who, resigned by the death of the Master, on Easter Day decide to leave Jerusalem and return home. Pope Francis emphasized that the disciples meet Christ and as they walk, he helps them to reread the events in a different way, in the light of the prophecies, of the Word of God, of all that has been announced to the people of Israel. Rereading is what Jesus does with them. In fact, it is also important for us to reread our story with Jesus, the story of our life, of a certain period, of our journeys, with the disappointments and hopes. After pointing out that today's gospel encourages everyone to tell Jesus everything with sincerity and without any shame, the Holy Father stressed that the Lord is pleased when we open ourselves to him. Only in this way can he take us by the hand and make our hearts burn again. Pope Francis then specified that there is a beautiful way to do this and today I would like to propose it to you. It consists in dedicating some time every evening to a brief examination of conscience. It is a matter of rereading the journey with Jesus, rereading my journey, opening my heart to him, of placing before him the people, the choices, the fears, the falls and the hopes, all the things that have happened so as to gradually learn to look at things with different eyes, with his eyes and not only with our own. In this way, the Holy Father continued, what seems complicated is seen in a different light, a cross that is difficult to embrace, the decision to forgive in the face of an offense, a failed revenge, the fatigue of work, the sincerity that costs, the trials of family life can make us see a new light, the light of the risen Christ, who knows how to make every fall a step forward. But to do this it is important to lower our defenses, to leave time and space to Jesus, to hide nothing from him, to bring him our miseries, to allow ourselves to be wounded by his truth, to let our hearts vibrate with the breath of his word. Pope Francis also stressed that we can begin today, dedicate a moment of prayer this evening, during which we ask ourselves, how was my day? May Mary, the wise virgin, Help us to recognize Jesus who walks with us and to reread, hear the word, reread before him every day of our life, concluded the pontiff.